Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time today to present this absolutely amazing mint condition American made South Bend 13 by 40 tool room lathe. This happens to be a model CL145C and it's a serial number 14960T. This happens to be our stock number 6821. This machine is absolutely amazing condition. We'd like to emphasize more than anything the overall condition of the machine, the cross slide, the bedways. It's a flame hardened bedway. And they're in absolutely superb shape. We're going to go ahead and run through this machine and show you its uh, feeds, its speeds, the threading capabilities, and how unique this machine is, as well as the fact that we're going to talk about the tooling that comes with it. Nice smattering of tooling, three jaw, four jaw, etc. And then we also have a nice selection of some optional things that we're going to show you in a uh, draw tube, collet closer, and 41 additional pieces of collets. Oh, before we get ahead of ourselves, please keep in mind we do have all the documentation as well for this particular machine. All right, that being said, let's go ahead and start, uh, start the procedure, Bill. Let's see what you got. This machine has 13 and an eighth inches over the bed. So it's a 13 and an eighth inch swing over bed and it has 40 inches of distance between centers. The maximum swing over the cross slide is seven and three quarter. We're currently running a four jaw on here. What RPMs? That's the uh, lowest, low high. Okay, that's uh, 40 RPM. Are you with low range or high range? We're in high range. Oh, excuse me. That was 270 RPM. Let me call out the RPMs for you. Basically what we've got here is uh, a low range of 40, 60, 90, 135. Go ahead, Bill and a high range of 270, 418, 618, and 940. I'm going to change the gear right now. We're going to go down to a second high. Second little high. So, and I'm going to turn my cross speed on to show you how the cross speed runs on it. Okay, so additionally, this machine has a number three Morse taper in the tail stock. Now we're feeding the we're feeding the apron towards the chuck. Now we're, forward. Now we're gonna go in reverse. We're feeding the apron away from the chuck. Very cool. Let me sneak in here and get a shot of those ways while you're. Thank you, buddy. Just that cross slide. You'll have your on the cross slide back after we're done in just a minute. Do a cross slide? We'll run it out in just a few minutes. Okay. Okay, additionally, there's a steady rest that comes with this machine. Go ahead, Bill. Next speed. I have a nice little steady rest that comes with it. So as we mentioned, there's a four-jaw chuck, an eight-inch four-jaw Cushman chuck on it now. The other chuck that comes with it happens to be a small six-inch three-jaw. Here's some drive dogs, a drill chuck, tons of tooling, uh, Alorus wedge-style quick-change holders, drive plate, T-handles, various sort of sundries. Go ahead, next. Nice. So we're going to high here now. Okay, talking about the threading on this machine, there are an immense amount of threads. Basically, you have, on the longitudinal feeds, you have 48 feeds. On the red, you have 48 pitches, left hand or right hand, ranging from 4 to 224 TPI. Go ahead, Bill, clear. Right here. This is your 940 RPM here. You'll notice how easy it is for him to change the speeds on here. Awesome. Twist of a handle, move to the belt, and you're there. Go down below real fast and show you how fast that works. Careful, if you blink, you'll miss it. All right, clear? Okay, back in low range, looking good. Let's put a cross here down there. Show you a cross down there. 
The overall weight on this machine is about 1,300 pounds. Ready for cross set? Engage cross set. There you go. Disengage. We also have a manual forward reverse. Oh, good point, yes. Let's, let's point out that lever. That lever is uh, it's for threading and feeds. Got a good shot of your back here on your left, Bill. This is for your threading and your feeds, and it's for your forward reverse as well as neutral. And okay, let me park it on your left here. Okay, step back just a little bit. Let me get in and show those ways one more time. Okay, so we'd like to also mention the fact that there's a two horsepower main drive motor on here. The machine's currently running at 220 volts, three phase. Here's your threading chart, your speeds chart. Here's your flame hardened, uh, flame hardened ways. It's an American made machine by South Bend USA back in the day. Now it comes with the pedestal, the built-in chip pan. It's a hard way machine. It has inch threading. It goes from slow to fast in a high and low range. It has 48 threads, 48 feeds. We talked about the weight of 1,300 pounds. Physically, it takes up 82 inches by 28 inches wide by 50 inches high. Want to check out the speed? Sure. All right, we're going to wrap it up in about 10 seconds. I failed to mention there's a micrometer bed stop with this also. That was very nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Put it in here. Okay, additionally, we'd like to mention the fact that we also have uh, 41 additional collets. Uh, these are the original South Bend collets. The draw tube goes up inside of the spindle with the chuck being removed. And these collets are all original classic South Bends. These are listed as an option to take us up on the fact that they are available because once they're gone, they're gone. Let me show you. Really nice. Nice. Turns an ordinary machine into an extraordinary machine. Nice, fantastic. You hear that, folks? Taking an ordinary American-made machine to an extraordinary American-made machine. All right. Well, this is Bill and Bill on behalf of Machinery Consultants. We'd like to thank you for your time to review this video. If you have any questions in the meanwhile, please feel free to give us a call at 801-531-9500. Am I in frame there? Our website is www.machineryconsultants.com. Go ahead and lift it up if you need to. And until next time, Machinery Consultants in Salt Lake City, Utah is proud to preserve American-made machines in the finest uh, possible manner. Thanks again. Be happy, be healthy, be safe, and have a great day. Fine.